risk. We're not talking about risk. We're talking about minimalism today. And why minimalism? Because one of my favorite TED Talks is called The Minimalist. And I'm not talking about minimalism like the Apple website or like going into an Apple store and there's like very few things but it, it all looks so fancy. No, I'm talking about minimalism lifestyle. I'm gonna sum up the TED Talk. The guy was going up the corporate ladder and his life was becoming more and more miserable because he kept making more money and he kept buying more stuff and the more stuff he had was controlling his life. His best friend, who just went through a divorce, his mother died, his, is living the happiest life he ever can. And the short answer was it's because he had less stuff. So what the guy did is he packed up every single thing he had in his house and for a month he's, he went into those boxes and took the things out that he needed. After a month, whatever was left in those boxes, he just gave away. That's a very, very extreme case of minimalism, but I took it upon myself one year ago to start implementing a form of becoming a minimalist in my own lifestyle, and that is by throwing away one to two things a day that I don't need. It was honestly very easy at first. I had a bunch of old toys lying around that I used to have when I was a kid that I just started throwing into a bag and giving the bag to donation, but eventually, after a couple months, it became a little harder to, to start doing because I ran out of all of my old toys and I actually had to go through and think about what are some of the stuff that I don't need anymore, that I don't use. Last month, I found this giant box of old Halo action figures that I used to play with and I gave it to my neighbor who is a school teacher for special ed kids and they they made me a little thank you card saying thank you for all of the Halo action figures and toys and Halo books. It's very cute. I'm very thankful that the stuff I don't need I'm able to give away to people who actually use it and have a lot of fun with it. But I've done it for a year now and I realized how much my entire life and background and lifestyle and living space has changed because now I have less choice in my life. And when you have less choice, you have more willpower because you're not wasting that willpower deciding what to do, what to pick. And when the environment you live in is incredibly spacious and clean, you have a lot more of a clear head. And I'm gonna be honest, your environment 100% affect your emotions. My most depressing friends are the ones who live in a very cluttered environment because they don't throw things away and, and eventually begins piling up. What's really sad is, and this one's really tough for me to say, but one of my closest friends who attempted suicide, after the attempt, I went to their house and helped recover their car to help them get their life back together. And their house and their car were in incredibly piled and filled with things that they don't need in their life and the environment that they were living in before they attempted it was incredibly cluttered and I'm gonna be honest when I was in that space and when I helped recover their car I could feel the stresses that they must have been going through just by being in such a cluttered space or maybe I could be crazy maybe the TED Talks crazy maybe being a minimalist is ridiculous, but I've been enjoying every step of it because I always add a bunch of stuff to my life, whether it's cameras, and lights, and, and skateboards. And if you don't have a control of getting things rid of your life, eventually it's just going to pile up and consume you. So why was I talking about this risk board? Because today, this is the thing that I'm deciding to get rid of. I'm not gonna say throw away because I'm definitely gonna take it across the street to my neighbor's house and I'm sure the kids who enjoyed all of my Halo action figures are also gonna enjoy playing this Risk board game. Oh, and one more tip. I totally need to do this. This is really good to do at the start of the year, but I didn't do it and this is a tip that I know is actually gonna help a lot with minimalism, especially if you have a crazy big closet. I'm gonna take all of my clothes and put them on the hanger this way. And that is because when I will wear them throughout the year, I'm gonna pick it up and when I return it, I'm gonna return it like this. That way I know this is a good shirt. Then I'm gonna mark this day on my calendar and a year from now, whatever's still hanging in backwards, I definitely don't need because I haven't worn it for a whole year. And that's just a super easy, like automatic way to clean your closet. So that's done. And now I'm going to go take this over 
to my friend's house. And as always, this has been Tony Sticks and may you have a very clear-headed day.